I will be solving all these crazy puzzles that dropped in the update 17 part 3. So right when the update dropped, I decided to talk to the sealed king, which I didn't really know what it was for. But I went with the flow and it took me to the great tree. And after searching for a while, I came across this NPC. And when I talked to it, this happened. What? Where am I? And I explored the place a bit, but I didn't find anything interesting. So I just ended up going back to talk to the sealed king again to see if anything changed in his dialogue. And yeah, the dialogue did change to this. And while I was reading this, my attention went over to the chat and I saw that my friend Vortex just got a chalice, which we need for the thing that I'm most excited about, which is the Doe Awakening. And while I was heading to my friend, all of a sudden, this message popped up. Yo, 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 what is that? What is that? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I freaked out and tried to search every island to see what it was for. But while I was searching, my friend Vortex said that the portal started glowing. So I gave up on this and rushed over immediately. I'm here, I'm here. What's happening to the portal? Bruh, it's not changed at all. What do you mean? But I saw this NPC and I found out that you need 10 conjured cocos and a gauze chalice for the Doe King Raid boss. My friend already has a chalice, so really we just need 10 cocos. So we just have to wait for him to get the 10 conjured cocos. So, my friend Vortex will be grinding for it while we get the other stuff in the update. So let's go! After a while, everyone in the chat started telling me about this hidden lever. And I didn't really know where it was. And then, after a bit, I found this lever. And when I tried to pull it, it said that I lacked the strength to pull it. So maybe we'll find the requirements to pull this lever later in this video. So after a while, I found this hidden room. So just like a sane man, I glitched inside and I found these two scrolls. So I decided to see what this scroll does and it turned out to be a trial of some sort. So of course, I took the trial and right when I was heading to the dock, I found this NPC, which could have opened the gate for that room. Oh well, I wish I knew that before. But anyways, I went to the dock and talked to the boat dealer and I had this new dialogue that I could choose from. And when I clicked this new dialogue for more boat dealers, I eventually got this pop up. And after that, I took the second trial and it said sense of duty. So I thought maybe going marine and doing a wanted poster quest might do the trick, which didn't work. And after that, I tried doing an elite hunter quest, which again, did not work. Okay, that didn't work. But then I did a sea castle raid and I got it. After that, I took the third trial, which is soulless. Soulless? And now I was thinking what soulless could be. I tried talking to the gravestone and I even tried talking to the death king and none of them worked. So I just left the trial running in the background and I went to kill all the bosses. And all of a sudden, right after I killed Cake Queen, I got teleported to the heaven. What? How did I get here? And now, all I had to do was light all the torches and kill all these skeletons. All right, it's done. Oh look, the gates are glowing. All right, let's go through. All right, let's talk to the scroll again. Well, I guess we're done with that then. And now, let's try talking to the Yama Scroll. Alright, the first trial says, pain and suffering. And again, I had zero clue how to complete this. So I just went to kill all the bosses again. But then, I tried to get damaged by a player. And surprisingly, it worked. But before I take the next trials, I will go and awaken my Dofu. Alright, we are finally in a Do raid. And now, let's do this raid. Let's go, we are done with our first ever Do raid. And now, let's go and complete the rest of them. Alright, this better be our final raid, I'm so hyped! Let's go, we are finally fully awakened our dough fruit! Oh wait, I forgot that dough had a tap move too! Huh? Alright, now we are done for real! And now, let's check it out! Oh my god, this move is a huge upgrade from whatever it was before. And after checking out the Doe Awakening, I prayed at the gravestone, and the dialogue was changed for some reason. And when I clicked yes, this happened. What are these weird candles here? Oh well, maybe we'll find out later. But anyways, let's get back to those cursed dual katana trials. And after that, I quickly took the second trial, and let me tell you, this trial was extremely painful, because I had to kill every single NPC which had this purple dot on them, which took forever. But eventually, I was done with it, and I took the final trial, which was Fear the Reaper. And for this trial, I basically had to get killed by the Reaper. And when I did that, I got teleported to the nether. Okay, well anyways, I lit up all the torches and defeated the skeletons. Alright, the boss is dead. What the? Why isn't the gate glowing? Oh wait, there's one more skeleton. Alright, let me kill him real quick. Alright, now we are done for real. And now, let's go through the gate. And right when I went through the gate, I was jump scared by these big swarms of skeletons. And no matter how many times I killed these guys, they just kept coming back. And at this point, I had been killing them for almost 20 minutes. And I was really getting tired of it. So I just decided to talk to the Yama Scroll. 
and it actually opened the gate. Wow, I could have done that 20 minutes ago, but whatever. And inside this gate was the cursed skeleton boss, and for some reason, I couldn't damage him. But then, I realized that I had to use the Tushita, and eventually, I got him. Ooh, I got the cursed dual katana. And right after that, I found this strange NPC, and he wants 20 fishtails. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm not reading that much. So let's just get 20 fishtails real quick. Oh my god, this took way longer than I expected. But good news is that we only need one more fishtail. Let's go! Finally! Oh my god, bro. And now, let's get the magma ores next. And as I remember, we need 10 of these magma ores. So let's go and get them. Alright, I'm done grinding the 10 magma ores. And now, let's get the dragon scales next. And we only need 10 of these, so this is about to be easy. I have been grinding for one hour now. I take it back. This was not easy at all, but we are finally done with it. Also, uh, I think I should have read everything that the ancient monk had to say because I just realized that we need 10 more magma ores, which, uh, um... <laughs> Alright, I'm done with these stupid magma ores. And now, let's get the last material, which is the mystical droplet. I have been grinding here for 5 minutes only, and I'm almost done. I wish they gave me this kind of luck when I was getting the dragon scales. Alright, two more. One, one more, one more. Let's go. Ah, I'm finally done with this thing. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what I just grinded for. But let's just head back and see what I just grinded for. All right, we are back here. And now, let's see what it was for. Ooh, this was for God Human? Let's go. All right, then. Let's learn it. And we have got it. Ooh, look at those punches. Pretty cool. All right, then. Let's get all the moves on this thing. Let's go. I have gotten all the moves. And now, let's check it out and compare it with the normal superhuman. Z move. I love how it looks on the God Human. But practically, it's kind of slow. But still OP. X move. I prefer God Human's X move any day over the superhumans because it's two move in one can't go wrong with it c move it's kind of the same as the normal superhuman but you can charge it and stuff which is pretty cool but anyways let's get the race awakening and the soul guitar now so remember those candles that i lit before yeah so it turns out that this was actually for soul guitar so let's just solve this puzzle so first off you'll have to kill all these zombies at the same time which is way harder than it sounds because if you make even one minor mistake you'll have to restart it took me a few attempts but i was finally done with it and one of the candles went out, which means we have three more puzzles to solve. Wait, what? What are these weird signboards? Oh, what? I can click on them. Man, let's just try messing around with these then. I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, I did it. I have no clue what I just did, but it worked. And now we only have two more puzzles to go. The third puzzle was really simple because I just had to talk to this ghost. And when I checked the candles again, two were still lit, which means that we still have two more puzzles to go. So let's do this. All right. For the fourth puzzle, I took a screenshot of these trophies and aligned them to this board, which was in the basement. And after a bit, I did it. And now only one candle remains, which means that we are on our last puzzle. Then for the last puzzle, I just matched all these tiles with those pipes up there. And after a bit, I was done with it. And now, I could finally buy the soul guitar. But the only problem is that we don't have enough bones or dark fragments. Well, isn't that great? Time to grind for another hour. Yippee! Alright, we just need 9 more bones. Come on, this better be the last one. Let's go! Finally, we have enough bones. But this was just the easy part. We still need a dark fragment, which is about to be extremely painful to get. Even after killing a lot of sea beasts, I just couldn't seem to get the Fist of Darkness. So I just ended up joining this very kind man, who's from my Discord server. And he spawned the Blackbeard boss, which was really helpful, because we got the dark fragment. So, I gave them my title as an appreciation. Well then, let's buy this soul guitar. We have finally got it. And hold on, hold on. I think we're still missing something. Oh right, the race awakening. Well, let's try to get this thing. Alright, so I have tried almost all of these theories, pulled the lever millions of times, but still no hope. But I found this really useful hint, which is this. We couldn't get it this time, but I will definitely get the Race Awakening in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably like these ones too. So go watch them now. But anyways, go subscribe for that man face blessing so you never get a bad fruit from this guy ever again. And bye.